In this video, I'm going to show you how Fancy runs the best trips tied in in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you've never seen one of my videos before, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. If you don't know what the subscribe button is, it's basically a free way for you to basically click follow. It's, it's basically like you're following the channel, you're supporting the channel, um, you like what we're doing. Now, again, our goal here is to basically become a better Madden player. That's really the whole goal of this channel. So uh, if you want to get better with us, hit subscribe. It's going to basically allow you to know whenever we release new videos um, to our community. So again, that's completely free for you to do. It doesn't cost any money to subscribe. So that's all you got to do. Just click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Fancy's offense. Now, obviously, Fancy did not make it all the way. I think he got to the semifinals, and then Jay Wall took him out in an absolute battle um, between two of the best offensive minds in the community. Now, in today's video, I want to share with you uh, just a little bit of how Fancy ran this offense. There's really two plays in particular that I want to go over, and both of them do require um, Hot Route Master. The one issue is, and that was a crazy, crazy catch right there, the one issue is that we don't have Hot Route Master in regs, right? A lot of us are switching to regs, so I want to talk a little bit about how you could run these similar concepts in, uh, in a regs mode setting. So all that to say, let's dive into practice mode. We're going to break down a couple of his just top, top-notch uh, setups, and we're just going to dive right in here. So I have the Packers booted up. I think the Packers are the best team in regs uh, to run this scheme with. Now, the one thing I will go ahead and tell you uh, right off the bat is that in regs, you won't have a lot of hot run master. Unless you use the Bucks, you're not going to be able to use that. And so, and the Buck, the problem with the Bucks is they don't have the best route running uh, at the tight end position. So we're, there's a couple setups here that are going to be a little bit slightly different, but the gist of it is going to be very, very similar. So uh, we're going to dive right in here. Trips tight end. There's two plays in particular that I want to go over. The first play is curl flat, and the second play is going to be X spot. We're going to use those two, um, you know, really kind of together. And curl flat is very simple in the way that Fancy would run this. Um, the way that J Wall runs it, they're all a little bit different. But this is how I would recommend you run this if you are playing in regs. Okay. Now, what Fancy would typically do is he would take Devontae Adams and he would put him on a crossing route and then he would motion him over. The other thing he would do is he would always smart route the tight end. The smart route of the tight end makes this corner route super, super effective against man to man coverage. If they're playing man to man coverage and you smart route that route, you're going to find a lot of success at getting open in man coverage with that route. So that's step one. The step two is to put Davante Adams on a crossing route. If you can't put him on a crossing route for whatever reason, what I like to do is just put him on a drag route. I find putting him on a drag route is just as effective um, in terms of how it actually plays because you'll see here that the running back is almost always wide open if he, if they run man coverage. Almost always the running back will get wide open if they run man coverage on you. Another thing that you could do is you could put Devontae Adams on a slant and then motion him over, and you could basically hit this route you know, right in this little pocket right here, as you can see, and get some separation against the man-to-man -man coverage that you will see in regs. Okay? So that's kind of the, the first thing. Now, the second thing that I would recommend from this is doing it with multiple players. So you could do the same kind of thing with Tavon Austin. As you can see, that little motion over, and you can go. Now, the reason that I like to do it like that is because it allows you to run some simple routes with Devontae Adams, right? Your route tech guy, your guy that can get open uh, against anything, really. So we could put Devontae Adams on a little zig, uh, little zig, little out, you know, something, something simple like that. And if they roast the man coverage, as you can see, he's now got, that's another man beater, right? They start to kind of stockpile on one another. Another thing that Fancy would do is he would do something essentially just like this right here, uh, where he would take this receiver, put him on an out route without a scant lane, and then it, we're not going to be able to put the crossing route on the field, and that's okay, but essentially we're going to run double slants, right? We're going to put two, we're going to put a slant route from Tavon Austin, maybe a slant from Devontae Adams here, and now this is really, really designed to beat man-to-man. -man. You've got the corner route, you've got the slant. Now in Mutt, obviously that would be a crossing route, that he would be running uh, across his formation here, but obviously we can't do that in regs unless we use the Packers or not the Packers, the um, the the, the um, uh, gosh dang it, the Bucks. 
Uh, we're not going to be able to do that unless we use the bucks. So that's just something, because again, it would look something similar to like this right here. So what, what you could do is, you know, you could take Tavon Austin and just put him on a drag route, and it would work very similar to how the concept works, because basically you're just clearing space. That's all you're doing. And as you can see here, you just have three or four crossers back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The next play that I want to go over that Fancy utilized a lot in his in his uh, in his game plan is the X spot setup. Now this is really really good in combination with PA counter go and PA shot post. Uh, now the X spot, the way Fancy would run it is he would typically put his tight end on a streak, put his outside receiver on the left side on a fade route, then probably either take that receiver on the right and he would put him a lot of times on a drag route or a whip route or a hitch route. Any of those three underneath routes you can do, any of those, okay? And then the running back is going to go on a wheel route. This setup is absolutely incredible against man. It's really, really good against man, against zone. This uh, post route, if you lowball it and pass lead it to the inside, you're going to consistently just work the ball up and down the field with this thing. Um, this is just a really good setup. There's nothing more to it than that. Um, you know, you can run something similar out of pretty much any offense, but this setup right here, I just find it – this this post route, they run it a lot. Uh, Fancy and J-Wall run this post route a lot. I don't know exactly why because I personally don't think it's the best way to do it. I think there's better ways to do it. I think the crosser does better uh, than the post from a motion over perspective, but, you know, this they have a reason for it. I think it has to do with the – you know, points, the, the specific points at which it gets to gets open on the play um, is a little bit better. But again, the other thing is that you have, you can turn this into a drag route to Devontae Adams. You can, this would be their playmaker receiver, and so they would normally have him on a drag if this was butt. Um, but, you know, if you if you don't have a uh, playmaker, then you could do anything. You know, you could, I personally really like this right here. I like the hitch route. Like, absolutely love the hitch route right here. Um, just because you have something simple, and then you can obviously hit that you know that low ball when it comes across of the formation. So, anyways, that's a little bit about how Fancy runs the best trips tied in offense in Madden 21. Now, if you want to get my full ebook that is actually based on trips tied in, but it's actually out of the New England playbook uh, because I believe the New England playbook is the best offensive playbook in Madden 21. You can pick that link up in the description of this video. Now, if you want to get a free sample to my trips tied in offense, which is over an hour long sample that breaks down pretty much everything you can do at a trip side in uh, from a sample perspective that is in my text membership so if you want to get that offense for free just shoot me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 last but not least just want to remind you if you want to get my full offensive ebook that is on the new england patriots playbook which features Tripside in as well as several other formations. It's an ebook that has over 400 pages with over 10 hours of video content and over um, 36 formation breakdowns in it. If you want to get that full New England playbook, that is in the description of this video. In my opinion, it's the best offensive playbook in Madden right now. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text message. And we'll see you tonight on our stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.